Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly for March 4th. So, wow, I'm coming off the heels of the Akashic Records reading for March and all I can say is onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so definitely watch that video. Um, we're going to tap into all these decks right here for the overall. Whatever the length of the video is, I will put the angel number message as the first pin comment. Definitely pay attention to your own intuition. I always say remember what cards come out because it could fill you. It could like help you now and later. Be love support backing now and later. I always say that because sometimes as the week goes on, I remember a card and it is love support backing for them too. So let's get right into it. We're going to tap into the Archangels for the messages for the journey. We're going to tap into the energy we're dealing with the first week of March. We're going to tap into the goddess guidance. We're going to tap into what to surrender to make it easier. We're going to tap into messages from heaven, loved ones passed on our spirit guides. And we're going to end it with guardian angel messages. So let's get right into it. Clear out your mind and heart. I'm talking fast because I can't wait to see what comes out. Clear out your mind and heart and just get ready to receive, receive, receive. Definitely pay attention to your own intuition besides what I say because you could have your own intuition. As I say something, you can get something more from it. You can get something more from it now and later. Sometimes I get, I do a reading and then later it like germinates and I get so much more later. <laughs> I just got to tell you, it could lead to aha moments. Okay, let's tap into the Archangels for the week of the 4th. Okay, they're ready already. Okay, for the week of the fourth, what wants to come through from the Archangels for the journey for all of us? We're going to get specific. I feel like this is going to be a short and sweet video for some reason. Peace. Yeah, they're making it very clear. Okay, they are really being specific. Wow. Oh my gosh. Out of the whole tower deck, we got two major arcanas, short and sweet and to the point. You're going to feel this is happening if you watch the Akashic Records reading for March. I just got to tell you this. This is no surprise. Short and sweet. These are like explanation marks. It's two major arcanas. Peace, change your life. Two major arcanas. So these are going to be change your life moments happening. And a lot has ended or is no longer. And you're now going to be changing your life. And um, it is with the divine, I just have to say. But they're going to be divine changes to your life and divine peace coming in where there probably was none before moving out of hardships difficulties things like that they want you to know that through these change your life moments also to have peace um so there's been a lot coming through and with the march akashic records it was us making our ascent uh past the old past the uh, stagnant energies past the past and here we have you can't make this up. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God and change your life. Here are sudden revelations that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination and embrace the opportunities that change brings. So this is an explanation mark to the Akashic Records. They definitely watch the Akashic Records reading first for March and then come here because these are explanation marks. Release the past. More enriching future and embrace the opportunities that change brings, right? Release the past. Remember what we got in the Akashic Records? Release, release the past, trust and let go and have peace and then take advantage of all the new opportunities that change is bringing to you, right? And look at the illumination around him. So just like we had in the Ascent card, as you're making your Ascent and uh, seizing all these new opportunities that you're very much aligned with them because it's going to fill you also with the right energy. It's going to fill you with the peace as you're doing it and as you're going in March. But this is peace. This is release the past and embrace the opportunities that change brings. So that is right out of the gate in March. If you saw the Akashic Records, you'd understand that even more. Um, so they could really be with you in a sense of really having you come to peace with the past, letting go, and actually looking forward to seizing the opportunities that change brings. And this is the new momentum right out of the gate in March. <coughs> Excuse me. And the energy we're dealing with, you can't get, yeah, rest and rejuvenation. Rest and rejuvenation. They're bringing you peace. So whatever, you might want to have more rest, rejuvenation. This is going to be a real time of having peace. So at this time, 
It's like letting go of the past, rest and rejuvenation. Um, it's also getting you back in sync with them as you face the future, let go of the past and face the future and grab all the new opportunities that change brings. So during this time, there could be a lot of rest and rejuvenation. First of all, the rest because of everything that happened thus far and the rejuvenation of becoming more aligned with them and filled up again as you greet the new and seize in actually embrace all the opportunities that change brings you could also through your rest and rejuvenation see the illumination around his head come to real sudden revelations that offer you even more freedom or more changes as you're looking out in the future like not only is the things changes coming in but when you rest and rejuvenate you could get brilliant ideas you can get brilliant aha moments there's something that extra that's really helping us release the past there's a more enriching future coming that's what they want you to know and then as you're going out you're actually seizing the new opportunities and they're helping you to have this illumination and literally to actually have like divine ideas aha moments this rest and rejuvenation really carries a whole lot and it actually keeps you aligned with them as well. So this rest and rejuvenation is like keeping you in the right octave for this. And um, so that's going to be your power. Just like they said, the uh, high priestess at work. It's like this alignment, rest rejuvenation. It's like you're resting with them. Right? You're in the palm with them. Let go and let God. And uh, they're helping you to really uh, uh, have... Break free of procrastination, sudden re revelations that offers freedom, embracing more opportunities that change brings. So they're they're really helping you with the with the new and um, spurring you out of stagnant energy and what offers you more freedom and what changes can benefit you now. Um, and with this illumination, think you could be seeing things with guiding children. So they're definitely look at peace it's landing right on here you are being used at this time you who's watching this this you're a carrier of this and you're helping and guiding other people at this time you could be supporting love support backing other people at this time you're being used in this way to help people let go of the past and look towards the future and embrace the opportunities that change brings um so you're part you're kind of like the bridge as well for others so they're saying you're good at helping counseling healing children use your skills to help children now use your skills to help others now um you're good at helping you're good at healing you're good at counseling they want you to use your skills at this time to help people move off from the past to let them know that there's a more enriching future coming to come up with revelations that offers freedom that they break free of procrastination that they feel illuminated going forward supercharged you know more empowered um, to embrace the opportunities that change brings so somehow you could be a messenger of that healing or that guidance um that's what they're saying in this particular you could be helping other people it could be your friends it could be your family it could be you know something about this where you're a bridge and helping others as well in this energy because these are two major arcana so this is the running theme right now to get everybody on this track i will say so whether it's even in your conversations i have to tell you i mean not even just with these readings that i'm posting public but like this card if you're giving advice to your friends you're there for your family you're providing love support backing to help them get release the past in some way to uh, actually uh, be illuminated in some way to seize opportunities to break free of procrastination you know this is what they're saying um you could find that you're being used in that way you might not even realize because it might just be a conversation you're having but in somehow you shifted someone to let go of their past a little bit or have a sudden revelation on their own later or you know now be looking at the changes that they can incorporate in their life that actually offers them more freedom or an opening up or welcoming more changes like you just don't know and this comes up a lot like people say this on the channel a lot like you just don't know what when you put out in a word or an action like what you're doing in the physical how it affects someone else and this is where they want everyone, for the most part. This has been a recurring theme in every reading. So to let go of the past, to know there's a more enriching future coming, to let go and let God, a big thing. So rest and rejuve to get back in alignment with that. And literally, they're having you actually seize opportunities, see the new opportunities. You know, there are going to be changes here and to look at it as opportunities, right? And to actually be more positive, optimistic about the future, so let's get the um, what to surrender to make it easier. 
we'd be getting a lot of sudden revelations, aha moments. We kept on saying that in the Akashic Records reading. As we're making our sense, what's coming through to help us is amazing. You're getting a lot of guidance directly. Also, I want to say this card, like you're getting a lot of divine guidance, you who's watching, to make sure that you're letting go of the past and you're open to opportunities, change your life, seizing those opportunities and staying illuminated you're resting rejuvenating so you are connected with this like this also is like divine guidance is the link and yeah surrender to your passion it's getting you fired up again this is what they said the divine is supercharging you again revitalizing you again giving you the energy um pump what did they say in the akashic records the energy and enthusiasm that's needed right to go forward to look at the future to embrace opportunities for change and do that follow through it's surrender to your passion they're lighting you up again get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow this is where they want us so this is where they want us it's getting back to that so it's really letting go of the past letting go of that making peace um, and you're being guided to look at, at the new, the opportunities, welcoming the changes, breaking free of procrastination, um, revelations that offers more freedom, erupting your passion again, like getting out of your head and feeling the fire in your body, the spirit of you fully in you again, um, and then just igniting your passion and letting it flow. I have to tell you something really funny. Um, about this was I was tweaking my website and I was putting like emojis all over my website and that's just a part of me right but then somebody was looking over my shoulder and being like you know what, do you, what are you two like people are not going to take you seriously with all these emojis all over the place so I took all the emojis off and I swear to god I felt like this is so stale like this is not me this is like okay so people won't take me seriously but at least I don't feel vanilla like I don't feel like that's me on there I put all the emojis back <laughs> but the part is, is like, you're going to feel a little bit like that. Like at some points, like when you have felt like somebody was commenting or judging or something where it was like, you have to limit this in some way, like get out of your head. Like if somebody was putting something in your head or whatever to like curb or chip away a little bit of something, cause it's not, it might be regarded as this or might be regarded as that. It's, it's like reignited again. It doesn't, who cares? Like you're going to just let it flow. It's um, it's just, that's what they made me say. They were bringing that to my attention. Well, this, this came out. So I just, uh, freely share whatever they bring from my experience to share on the channel when a card comes out, but it was very funny. It's just such a little microcosm example, but you don't even realize how much we're programmed. It's like, if you start, say you love, I don't know, something stupid, but then people comment, so you curb it right? You curb it because it's not so accepted. People aren't like applauding you for doing it. So it's like, well, who cares? It's, there's something about the getting out of your head, what was put in your head and just being fully back to your passion and letting it go completely. Um, that's what they're unleashing because this, this is all about more freedom. This is seizing new opportunities. So it's part of your passion, your creativity, being fully you, which has been a repeating message to be, feel more fully you, like the energy enthusiasm of you and bringing that and just letting it go. So that's what they're saying. Like l let go and let God let go of the past. Re feel rejuvenated with full spirit, full passion, and now go out in the future and see, grab those new opportunities, make the changes that offer more freedom. That's a big freedom, right? Like let go of what people think or care, you know, whatever. Um, freedom, break free of procrastination, break free of, you know, it's seizing all the opportunities that change brings. And another thing they taught me was such a spirit lesson because I always, well, I didn't always have the most positive changes in my life growing up at an early age. So when I heard the word change, it was associated with loss or worse or taking away, you know, this is change, opportunities, freedom you know new things um so that is where they are wanting us and you're gonna feel this is happening to you like i said um repeatedly they're helping you to do things in your in the physical and the energy to do it with and right now they want you to return to your passion return to a revitalization revitalization which has been a repeating word and here's rest and rejuvenation they want you to let go of the past and almost greet the new in a new way you know, break free of old pro procrastinations, break free, make, have new choices that have more freedom that you're unleashing things, greet 
and welcome new opportunities. And so this guiding, you're getting that divine guidance all along, all along the way directly. And also you could be used as a vehicle to be a bridge for other people with family and friends. And I'm finding that on this channel, what we share here on the channel, like privately, like I'm almost whispering, when I'm done with the video, it is happening with my friends, my family, people I come in contact with, what we've discussed here. I'm not talking in the same terms that I talk to you because we're all on the same wavelength. But in, you know, realistic, grounded, practical terms, they're still doing, dealing this as well. So what I'm saying is what we discuss here, like so bluntly and on a spiritual terms, language, lingo, um, you're going to find your friends and family. You're helping them in some way as well. That's what's coming through in this reading. Like in grounded practical, in their language. Everybody has their own rapport. Like you talk to people in a different tone, different way. But you're helping them as well. Okay? So let's get the messages from heaven. This is the messages they want to bring forth for March. Because everybody is going forward. Upwards and onwards. Just like they said with the ascent in uh, Kashuk Records reading. Yeah, we care about you. We want you to take care of yourself. Rest and rejuvenation. We've all been through it. You could feel that you really need to recharge your energy at this time. You really, look, it landed right under rest and rejuvenation. We care about you. We really want you to take care of yourself. So if you need the time to get your stamina, your energy, that rest and rejuvenation is key because it's going to keep you, you're probably doing a lot of inner work, inner, like letting go of the old energy, right? Someone once told me I get sick a lot, not horribly sick, but like once a month I could get like a cold. Like right now I feel stuffed up or something. You'll find on my videos constantly. Someone told me it's like a shift of energy. It's like you're changing, you're letting go of the old energy. Like it's, uh, you need more rest, rejuvenation. You're working out energies sometimes, you know? So messages from heaven. So allow yourself, we care about you we want you to take care of yourself take really good care of yourself provide more rest rejuvenation if you need it and here put on your dancing shoes or walk along the beach we encourage you to move we encourage you to move they want us to move forward we encourage you to move 33 they're also with you and also to lighten up to move more so and make or take those steps or something we put on your dancing shoes there's like a lightness here but i also feel like what i'm getting from this card you know when you're walking on the beach they said those times when you saw one set of footprints we were carrying you i don't know i feel like they're with you as you're making your moves that go have peace they're with you as you're making your moves i just want you to to say that that's what they wanted to say that's what they wanted to say oh that's so beautiful. Okay, let's get some more messages from heaven. They're not done. They're with you as you're going forward now with the new. Yeah, just when I said that, they're with you. They're with you as you're making your moves to the new, right? Let go of the past and going to the new. And are you ready for this? Take control of the situation. We know you can do this. As you're going for the new things, right? They're part of your navigation system. Take control of the situation. We know you can do this. This is really getting out of your head, back to your passion, letting it go. They want you to actually seize the new opportunities that are coming in for you. Take control of situations. They know you can do it. Um, has been a repeating message that love support backing for what you're doing. They're with you as you're making your moves and with what you're doing. Um, that is what they're saying here. So we know you can do this. So whatever you're going for in the new, going releasing the past, going forward, um, embracing the opportunities that change brings, they're saying to you, they're helping you to navigate this and also that you can do this. They're your rah rah, sec your rah, rah section. You can do this. You can do this. Kind of like what I was saying before about the stupid thing about the emojis. It's like when you're filled up with something and you're going for the new, they're going to be around, like no matter what else is, or someone else is saying or what you're putting in your head, right? Because they said, get out of your head. They're saying, you can do this. You can do this. That's going to be your illumination. They're going to be bringing you a lot of aha moments and a lot of things coming to your awareness. Like you can do this. You can do this. Let go of the past and go forward and embrace opportunities going forward. You can break free of procrastination. You can do this. Take control of things. You can do this. So that's the energy they're giving you right out of the gate in March. 
and it, like I said, it's all upwards and onwards. And they're, they're saying, you can do this. They're with you as you're moving. They want you to take really good care of yourself. There's going to be times when you need more rest and rejuvenation. That's part of your work, in a sense, because you're going to be working out energies. It's also going to keep you in alignment with them. It's going to help you release the past. It's going to help you go forward. You could get aha moments, sudden revelations of how you're seizing new opportunities. They're just affirming you can do this. There's going to be a part where you're rejuvenated, in a sense, and you're going to be unleashing your passion again. It's like getting out of your mind back to your spirit, your heart, your passion. Focus on the people and activities that you want that ignite your passion and let it flow. Like they're getting you back to that. That could be part of the rest of rejuvenation that's needed so you get back to that. So this is all about going forward. Ooh, forward for the new. This all came out. Action, acceptance, balance. Oh, wow. Okay, action. Drop all fear and just do it, right? They said you can do it. So they are saying you can do it. So action, drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart. Here's the passion. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. New. This is confirmation from the angels, right? I mean, you can't make this up. The time is for you to take the action. You can be whatever you truly want. You can go for what you truly want. You can do this. They're bringing you back to your heart, your passion, and to go forward. This is positive confirmation from God and the angels. The time is right for you to start a new, exciting venture. So they're making sure that you do this. That's your guidance. You're helping others to do that as well, but that is your guidance, and they're with you as you take the steps to do this. All along the way, you take care of yourself. You rest rejuve because it helps you work out the old, release the old, and stay alignment with them because they want you to actually do the action. Look at how it's working out. Acceptance. There is nothing in your life to fix, only the disowned parts of you that yearn for acceptance, love and acceptance. Do you see? So they're getting you back to here. You already have the love and acceptance. Yes. You are beautiful just as you are. They're telling you this. They're telling you this. There is nothing in your life to fix only the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. But you already have this. This is what they're saying to you. There is nothing in your life to fix only the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. You are beautiful just as you are, regardless of any faults you may perceive you have. You are an eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. And those are the changes. They're having you come back to your fullness in some way or the truth of you, the acceptance of you, and going forward with all of you, you are internally radiant. You don't have to yearn for love and acceptance. You already have it. That's been a repeating message. They had me say that in another video. You already have it. You're already full. Remember when they made me say that? You're already full. They're making sure you feel full. You already have love and acceptance. Do the actions. You already have a rah-rah section saying you can do this, right? Right? So just like I said with the emojis, I'm not taking off the emojis. <laughs> if it's in my heart to do emojis, I do emojis, right? I know that's such a stupid example, but that's, they made me say that for a reason. Like balance. Difference is a necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already filled with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. They're saying you are necessary, you're necessary. You're part of the balance here, right? If, if a light goes on in a room that's already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable. The importance of you, the importance of your passion, the importance of you being lit, right? I mean, I know I say that word a lot, lit. You know, I say that a lot. But the importance of you, don't diminish the importance of you, the fullness of you, the flame of you, the light of you, whatever analogy you use. They want you to be lit and take action. Look at how it's even lit. Lit and take action. There's an acceptance, right? That you already have love and acceptance. You don't need to go searching with it. So they're keeping you, like, rejuvenated. I think this rest and rejuvenation alignment with them is like, you know, like a base light when you turn the base, the rekindle the light flame. Like, that's what these guys are doing. That's what they're doing while you're rest rejuvenation. So that you're fired up again to take action with this. And you have love and acceptance already. And it's the balance. Like, 
the importance. Just like I said, this guiding children here, they said they are guiding you, yes. But then also you being lit like this, you're actually helping to guide others as well. Whether it's in your, how your love support backing for others as well, because you're, you're lit. So you're coming from love support backing as well. You're coming from that place, that loving place. So when you're having conversations with people, you don't realize you're probably helping them as well. Um, you're helping them as well. That's what they're saying. Um, so this is beautiful. So I wish you the best for March to going forward to actually definitely take action. They're bringing you back to your passion. Do action, passion and action. <laughs> you can do this. You already have love and acceptance for this. You're needed. Um, there could be a lot of rest and rejuvenation taking care of yourself and your energy. This has been a repeating message. I posted a lot of videos about that. It was like even more so about at so much to taking care of your own energy is so important because they want you lit and doing the action. Just like they said before, we're helping you to do things in action and also the energy to do it with. Absolutely. You can do this. You can do this. And this is going forward. These are change your life moments, looking for the new, stopping the procrastination, uh, new revelations that offers more freedoms, embracing opportunities that change brings. This is going onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.